Hey, what's up, guys? This is uh, Tariq Ali from SmartBuyTrends.com. Vertugo announced the Ghost Rider just a couple of days ago, and it's basically a Ghost Rider that mimics your previous ride exactly. If you've ever used Virtual Partner in a Garmin device, it's basically something like that. But before we get into this feature, what is Vertugo? By the way, if you are new here, I review smart bike trainers and discuss indoor training, cycling apps, and other fitness gadgets. So if you want to learn more about indoor training and fitness tech, make sure you click the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Okay, let me take a quick one minute to give you a quick overview of Vertugo. Vertugo is a virtual cycling platform available for Windows and Mac with a strong focus on training, similar to other virtual cycling platform you've seen out there. However, Vertugo is differentiating themselves in the market as a training platform. They offer different training programs geared toward uh, time trialists, climbers, criterium, sprinter, and all-rounders or you can just do a free ride. They currently have three virtual wards you can ride on. Vertugo Ward, a 4.8 mile made up circuit that is mostly flat with three ver uh, very short climbs. Cold Dissolder, a four mile route in Mallorca and has an elevation gain of 1,184 feet and an average gradient of 5.6%. Wollonga Hill is a 14 mile route located in Australia. You've probably heard of it or familiar with it. It is part of the tour down under and the climb itself is a three kilometer long and seven and a half percent average gradient you have the ability to customize your avatar with different skin tone male female jersey color helmet you can even customize your bike frame frame color handlebars pedal group set wheels and even your saddle whoa i think that was one minute or maybe a little bit longer so that's Vertugo in a nutshell. To enable the ghost feature, you need to go to your uh, ride history and find the ride you want to do with your ghost rider. Ideally, you want to find a ride that you did very well at and see if you can beat yourself at that same course. I do not have much history here, so here is one ride I did. When you select a ride, uh, you will see the options to enable ghost. Now, when you go to the ghost menu, you will always see this ride and any other ride you enable the ghost feature for until you remove it from the ride summary page. Make sure you have everything paired. You can now pair ANT Plus and Bluetooth sensors, which they did not have in the past. Only ANT Plus was available, so it's good to see them add Bluetooth finally. It's still in beta though, so use it at your own risk. Once you start the ride, you will see your ghost in front of you and you can start riding. Here it looks like I started ahead of my ghost, so I'm just going to slow down and wait for myself. So on the top menu, you can see your ghost ride information, watts per kilogram, RPM, and how many meters your ghost is ahead or behind you. What your ghost is doing here mimics exactly what you did at the time you did that ride. This is pretty nice to see and they plan on adding the ability to ride other riders, ghosts, and even pro riders. It's actually there in the menu, but it's grayed out right now. That's going to be a good reality check once you add the pro riders. One thing I really like here is all these signs clearly identify the start of the segment, whether it's a climb or a sprint, and all the subsequent signs indicating how many meters you have left. So here I'm going to try to beat my previous climb time. You can see your personal best at the bottom here and your current time below that. One thing I would like to see is the ability to set a certain time for the Ghost Rider. So say your fastest time for the Vertugo Ward was 15 minutes long and you want to improve it by 5% or finish in 14 minutes or something like that. So your Ghost Rider becomes more of a pacer to help you get to beat your time or reach a particular goal you have. So yeah, let me know if you tried it and what are your thoughts and what things you would like to see for the Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider is only available in free ride mode. The other feature I want to talk about here is the coach feature. Kind of similar to Ghost, but this time instead of trying to beat that rider, you're supposed to follow them and just have the coach rider guide you through the workout. When you select the workout, you have the options to do the workout in erg mode or coach mode. With coach mode, erg mode will be disabled and the trainer will be set to sim mode, meaning you will feel the resistance change based on the terrain and you have to adjust uh, gear to reach your target watts. You will see a coach right in front of you and the workout instruction on the screen. You will see the number of watts the coach is doing and that's basically your target watts and what you're supposed to be doing. You can get dropped by your coach if you're not doing well and you will be left all alone or you can do what I did here and drop your coach. This feature isn't new. It has been around since the software was in beta. I only did one ride with a coach, but I see how it can be fun and engaging. 
Okay, give them a try and let me know what you think. They have a free 10 day trial available and it costs around six and a half, seven dollars per month, depends on the currency conversion. And if you've been using Vertugo for a while, let me know your thoughts on it and all these features. I still would like to see more integration with other workout applications to create your own workouts. Or if you have a coach prescribing workouts for you, their workout library is still not as mature as other apps out there like Trainer Road, for example, and would love to see them on an iPad and Apple TV. That's all I have. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button if you did and share it. And don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video.